been here in India since July and I felt really off last week like just wasn't feeling good tried to push through with my PhD research I've got my mid candidature review coming up so I was trying to focus on that and I just felt like something was off and maybe there was like something wrong with my sacral chakra um, which is your second chakra from the bottom and the stomach area uh, but it turns out I just have a classic case of deli belly and I have become best friends with the toilet for the last week so <laughs> that has been my life and today I actually feel good I feel like I can finally emerge from my dorm room and I'm ready to take on the world so I thought I would vlog today because I haven't really vlogged first of all in ages second of all since I've been here in India so that's what's happening today. I It's a Sunday, so it's the weekend, and I really wanna go to the Gandhi Museum. It's like one of the things that I haven't been able to do that I've wanted to do. I am also back on OnlyFans, which is super exciting. I uh, kind of stopped regularly posting on there in towards the end of 2021 I just got really overwhelmed with my PhD and everything like that I also had a uh, cheeky unplanned pregnancy in between then and now so that also had something to do with my absence <laughs> obviously living in India means I'm not at the club and at first I was keen to kind of just focus on my research and also um, running the startup that I founded but because I don't pay myself a salary from uh, the Humanitarian Changemakers Network which is my startup I just wanted to have some extra money to be able to travel and explore and start saving while I'm not working here in India so now I'm back to working on OnlyFans I'm on Sunroom now and Sunroom is I'm super excited for it it's like an uncensored platform it's really just a space for me to be my most authentic self without censorship. So Sunroom is a platform created by two Australian uh, female entrepreneurs and it just launched on Android and it's also available on web uh, and obviously on the app store as well. And it's a subscription based platform where you can basically just share any uncensored content. So I've been on there answering questions um, you can subscribe and ask questions. I've been talking about my experiences with sugar daddies. I've been talking about sex work stories. I've been sharing my uh, No Filter Friday podcast that I also share on my OnlyFans. And I'm also just kind of sharing like... <clears throat> oh, sorry, I don't sound sexy in the morning, do I? I've also just been sharing kind of like the behind the scenes of like how I'm... Um, balancing my PhD and running my business and doing all of these things kind of as it's happening in real time as opposed to like sharing content that's like a little bit more curated or kind of shows like the the results instead of the actual process um, so if you've ever wanted to like get advice from me or ask me questions or hear any juicy stories Sunroom is definitely the place to join I have a really cheap subscription price at the moment because I just launched um, but at the end of the month that will probably be going up uh, but other than that I'm just putting a little bit of makeup on this is like my go-to makeup look if anyone cares um, it's literally just concealer to cover the eye circles the dark eyes so that I look like someone who gets sleep and didn't spend all night on the toilet and mascara and I might put a little bit of um, cheek stain, which I had no idea what cheek stain was. Like, I'm not a makeup person at all. I don't like wearing makeup. I obviously only really wear it to the club. But, you know, 
gotta look good in the content also something that i only just realized the other day but you know how like we are constantly manifesting whether you're into like manifestation or not like we are constantly creating our future and it's so funny because I was in like a massive PhD slump for a little while. I got sick here in India, surprise, surprise. And I was like El Depresso, just not in the mood to do anything. And I realized that I am literally like living the life that I dreamed of living like five years ago. Like, sure, I didn't picture it exactly like this, but all I wanted when I was like doing my undergrad degree was to have a job that I could do remotely and still make a decent living from. And I wanted that to be like a stable, like consistent income. I wanted to be doing something where I was having a meaningful impact in the world. And that was basically it. I just wanted to be able to travel and still make an impact. And now I am doing a PhD where I am like getting paid to learn about things that I'm passionate about and work with incredible organizations here in India that are having like meaningful impact and empowering women in the community. And I'm, in my opinion, <laughs> doing some pretty, uh, pretty groundbreaking research, if I do say so myself. Uh, and I am getting paid to do that. Like this is literally all I wanted. <laughs> so sometimes when I'm in a PhD slump, I just have to remind myself like, Five years ago, this is exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> got Tolstoy's War and Peace to read because I've recently learned that so many people who were big in like the non-violent peace movements were really inspired by that but it is a big book. <laughs> deep work and at the start of the book the author talks about how uh, a lot of like some of the most brilliant minds and people who have like accomplished a lot in their working life always had some kind of like isolated workspace to go to something that was like away from distractions with like no internet or email if they were alive during that era um, and looking at Gandhi's workspace makes me think that I need to have myself a little workspace like that for my PhD. I love that quote as a reminder that we really only need to influence the people within our sphere of influence and it just has ripple effects when it comes to creating change. I think it's a nice little reminder when sometimes we feel like we're not doing enough or reaching enough people with our work. So I'm heading back to campus now and I was going to get the metro because it's like super cheap but then I realised that getting an Uber is only like $2.50 for a 30 minute Uber as opposed to a one minute, uh, one hour metro. So I'm going to get an Uber back and then I'll make it just in time for the end of lunch. So I'll be able to get some lunch if I'm hungry. My 45 minute nap just turned into a two hour nap. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely feeling the effects of not sleeping properly last night. I think what I'm going to do is have a shower, pray that there's hot water, <laughs> um, 
Actually, I'm going to do a face mask. Oh, I'm going to do a face mask. If you scrolled all the way back to my videos in like 20, 2018, 2017 even, I've been using this exact same face mask. Not the exact same thing, but like the exact same one from the body shop for literally years. I swear by it. It is the best clay mask. If anyone cares. I'm not like a super big skincare person. I don't like spending too much money on skincare and I will spend like 40 to 50 Australian dollars on this mask and use it weekly. I absolutely love it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is let this face mask sit in for a little bit. I'm going to finish up what I was doing this morning because I'm pretty much like one email away from having my next field visit ready for my PhD, which is super exciting. And I wanna get the email out now so that when they're in the office tomorrow it'll be like one of the first things they see and i can get it all confirmed because it's been a little bit challenging getting this particular field visit um, booked then i'm going to have a shower get in bed read the new book that i just started reading and there's no way i'm going to be able to stay up until dinner time dinner on campus starts at 7 p.m and after last night i'm so tired i want to get an early night so i think i'm going to order a vegan pizza on swiggy which is basically like uber eats here and that's what i'm going to do i'm going to treat myself to a pizza probably take some cheeky content because why not monetize the opportunity and then yeah i will just respond to any uh dms and things on OnlyFans. um respond to some people and that's probably how i'm gonna spend my night i'm so sad the place that i got my vegan pizza from last time is closed on squiggy so last time i got this really good vegan pizza from like a gourmet pizza place. This time I'm trying a pizza from this vegan like health food place that whenever I order food, I pretty much order food from this place. They're really good. So fingers crossed their pizza is also good. Look, can't smile. Okay, time to wash this off. <laughs>